So you're thinking about moving to DeSoto, Texas? Well, that's where we're at today. And uh, well, let's see, well, you got a Starbucks right here, so that's always important. Uh, you got the big DeSoto sign right there as soon as you get off of I-35 and Pleasant Hill. You can see strip malls all the way that way, strip malls all the way this way. Uh, you've got Home Depot, Best Buy, everything. I mean, basically everything you need pretty much right on this strip. And that's gonna be about what's going on in DeSoto. So it's not really known for uh, a lot of stuff to do, but you're right down the road from the Dallas Zoo. You're right down the road from Bishop Arts, which we've talked about in several of our videos. And like I said, you got the Starbucks right here as well. But other than that, this is a pretty uh, mostly, I'll say mostly residential area. Not really known for a lot of, again, a lot of stuff to do around here, but you have plenty of shopping. But I will say that this is definitely an older part of town. Not a lot of new development going on too much, especially in the commercial space. Some new construction homes, you're going to find a lower price point in this area as well. We're south of Dallas and you're going to find a little bit lower on the median home value. Definitely much older homes, a lot of the ranch style homes that are you find in a lot of the Dallas older neighborhoods uh, that were you know built in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. You will find a couple of little pockets of new construction going on down here. A lot of it's taking place in Midlothian and Waxahachie, uh, which is just a little bit south of here even more. But you're not too far from downtown. Uh, it's about 25 minutes without traffic. Now, if you're gonna be commuting in there, then there's definitely gonna be some traffic. But otherwise, I would say it's all right. I think that guy just sped out and did that on purpose, but it's all good. I don't get uh, I don't get worried about those things. I was I get called out a lot. People always messing with me whenever I'm trying to make these videos, but it's okay. We don't let them take us down because we're here for you to show you around Dallas and everything that it has to offer. So we're gonna do kind of like what we always do: take you around, show you a couple of different homes and some different price points here in the DeSoto area. That way you can get a good idea of what may uh, fit inside your budget and um, we're gonna get after it All right now. All right, so here we are at our first stop and we are in a new construction community. This home is actually just getting finished up and it's a four bedroom, four bath, right at uh, 2,791 square feet and it is uh, listed right at 495,000. So that's gonna put the price per square foot right around $177. But beautiful home, brand new. They haven't even finished the sidewalk yet. So you know I'm, I'm prone to uh, tripping <laughs> whenever I do these types of videos. So walk around there, you can see they still got a little work in the back to go over there. But otherwise, uh, two car garage, two story, again, almost 3,000 square feet. So a uh, pretty good size home and you can see the rest of the community down this way again newer community as you can always tell by the trees just uh, all those got planted so a lot of these homes are just now getting finished up or have been finished within the last year or two so relatively new community but that's what you'll find here in the desoto area but pretty good pricing per square foot and i think some uh, a couple of the other homes we're going to go look at it even has some lower price per square foot so you come down here a little bit uh, to the south of Dallas and you're going to find a little bit better on the pricing options. Now, the thing is, is again, good community, good area right around here. Uh, you can see this side over here on the street. That's the developed neighborhood. So this is the, the newer side. That's more of a in the 10, 15 year old range. And you can easily tell that by the trees as well, uh, right down that way. So you see, you still have some new construction opportunities, mostly sold out here. They might have a couple of left but you're just going to find little pockets around here. This is not a huge community, not, not like the master plan communities going up north. You're just going to find smaller pockets to uh, 50, 60, 100 homes like that around these areas. But, you know, you can still uh, find a good price per square foot. And that's the main thing, too. Still close to Dallas. Again, commuting in there. They just finished up 35 as well, by the way, which they've been working on that for quite some time. And I tell you what, it just widened it. A little bit more so that's definitely going to help some things out uh, with the commute into dallas and leaving dallas even getting down here today was a, a pretty smooth ride so that's always a great thing but otherwise yeah pretty good little area and you're not down uh, not too far down the street from where we started out so you got easy access to 35 highway 67s on the other side 
of this as well. We're actually probably a little closer to Highway 67. So you've got easy access to both highways heading up into Dallas and those highways, of course, going south. 35 will take you down to Austin. 67 will take you to my old stomping grounds of Stephenville. So uh, it just fun facts, fun facts, full of them all today. Again, got to keep an eye out for that hole in the street right there. But other than that, again, you got the rear entry uh, garages here. That's more like a side entry, but yeah, these alleyways go in the back so you can see all the garages are on the back side of the homes. I do like that feature here because it keeps the street mostly clean. You can see not a lot of streets out on the car and you don't see them parked in the driveway. It just kind of keeps them in the back. I think it gives the neighborhood a nice cleaner feel because you got a, just a nice smooth look of the yards uh, no garages and, and cars kind of hanging out so and plus people leave their garage doors open right you don't want to see everything that's inside there everything they're storing inside their home right nobody wants to see all that mess but uh anyways it is fun to hang out in the garage though when you have the neighborhoods where uh, everyone just hangs out in their garages all over the place by the way people have popped out at me before whenever i'm walking down the street and they come out of their garage and then they start asking me questions so that's always interesting but anyways we'll cruise you around this neighborhood so you can get a little uh, see what else is going on around here and let's go check out another house. All right, so we're at our next stop here. You can't really see it because the trees just kind of uh, overtake it a little bit, but you can kind of get an idea whenever you look around the rest of this community. Look, you're even right back here on the cul-de-sac. Got some nice uh, woodage back there, you could say. But otherwise, uh, this home was built in 2010. So it is right at 499,000 and it's 3,166 square feet. So built in 2010, that's gonna put the price per square foot right around $158, $160 or so uh, on, on that property. Oh, now you just see a tree right there. But again, it's, it's kind of covered up anyways and I don't wanna walk up in their yard. So you can kind of get a good idea of what's going on around here. Nice and quiet, uh, about you know, 10, 12, 15 year old community right here. And you can clearly see that by the trees but everything's still well-maintained, nice. It's back here on these, uh, all the, a lot of the streets in this neighborhood are kind of backed off like this. And I will say this, um, one of the things I do like most about the DeSoto area, especially coming down to South Dallas, you kind of start to hit the edge of hill country. Now, when you get into Dallas, everything's just flat, but you get on the outer edges, especially on the Northeast, uh, like Fairview and Lucas. But whenever you come down South here to DeSoto, and Cedar Hill and you get down here by Joel Pool Lake and then you start moving south you're just on the outer edges of hill country which you know hill country in Texas is beautiful and that's one of the only good things about Austin is the hill country down there but it also limits them on growth which is why everything is so constricted and uh, traffic is terrible and why home prices are so expensive because they're they're locked up by the hills you can't just build everywhere Plus you can't run the roads everywhere either. So that's why traffic is terrible in Austin. And here we've got just room to grow and we can just keep making more loops and more highways and growing out and out and out and out and out. But anyways, great neighborhood. I like that I stopped in this little shade spot as you can see. So let me give you some of the more of the homes right back there. But otherwise, yeah, I mean, you're you're right on the end. This home you've got, I mean, if you're, if you got the kids, I know I would be loving to play out there, get a little uh, dirt bike, uh, mountain bike, everything else you got to run around out there that would be a lot of fun i think you're right here on a nice in quiet of the street and again very very quiet so not a lot of activity like that that's going going on around here but otherwise we'll cruise you around this neighborhood a little bit but under 500 3100 square feet that's pretty good size on the end of a cul-de-sac that's what i'm telling you your uh, dollar goes a lot further down here in the south of dallas area but let's cruise around this neighborhood and let's go check out some more homes
Then you got areas of DeSoto like this, where you can just have some random country while you're driving around out here at the same time. But here, I just, I was actually driving by this home, just to give you an example. This home's only $303,000, just under 1,500 square feet. Now it's been completely renovated. It was built in 1961, but they just did a, a remodel job on it. Looks pretty good for being a 1961 year old home, or not, that didn't really make a uh, home built in 1961. So that would actually make it right around 60 years old. That's what I meant to say. But downside to this, only one bathroom. It's a three bedroom, one bathroom. So in my opinion, I would have definitely taken the expense to probably add a secondary bathroom because you could have increased the price just a little bit more, but it's on an acre too. So, I mean, they got an acre. I mean, that's pretty good. It's not a bad deal if you don't mind having a one bathroom house. Uh, new paint job, insides all all nice and uh, nice and refreshed. You got the garage there as well, and you don't have to stare at neighbors except for the the cows. Maybe I don't I don't see any cows over there, but that that could be all you have to look at. But it looks like uh, your neighbor over there has a nice little white picket fence, and you got the church. You got the church in the background right over there. So if you're a church person, just walk right over there on Sunday, you'd be good to go. But anyways. Hey, $303,000, not a bad price. Let's go check out one more. And here's what I mean by some more elevation in DeSoto. You can see it kind of slumps over that way. Look at the house. That's actually the house we're looking at. Goes down this way, gives the neighborhood a little bit more character. And you can see that house up there. That one's on the hill. This one's down the hill, but this one was just built. This one is 4,217 square feet, four bedroom, four bath, new construction. $599,000. That's putting the price per square foot around $142 a square foot. That's pretty good for a price per square foot. Price per square foot. I can't talk today for some reason, but anyways, I tell you what, beautiful new home, brick and stone, that little combination brick and stone. They love to do that here in the Texas area. You've got well-established neighborhood. Look at this beautiful home scattered throughout. And then you have opportunities like this where they will just find an empty lot or two in some of these older communities and build you a brand new construction home. But I tell you what, for under 600,000, for over 4,000 square feet, I mean, you can't go wrong there at all. I'm telling you the deals are down here in the South Dallas area. And you back up over there, looks like uh, some more uh, woodage, but I think that's the word I used, right? Woodage, yeah, more woodage back there. You've got woodage <laughs> behind you, so you don't have to look at the neighborhoods. There's probably a green belt, something like that. Rear entry, uh, garages on this side. Of course, you can't over there because of the green belt, but still keeps everything nice and clean over here. I'll tell you what, that's a good deal right there. That's definitely worth taking a look at. So let's cruise you around this neighborhood, wrap everything up. And by the way, I forgot to do my intro too, which is if you're new to this channel and you want to know everything there is about living in Dallas, Texas, make sure you subscribe below, tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the current market here in Dallas. And my name's Levi, my partner, Travis, the team and I, we get calls, texts, emails every single day and we love it. So whether you're looking to move in nine days or 90 days, feel free to give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email. We're happy to help you make that smooth move to Dallas. And until next time, well, we hope to show you around town. Now let's go check out the rest of the neighborhood and we'll wrap up DeSoto.